This is the first video going over the window LED floor lamp project. Here we're going to give an overview of the parts for the first beta window LED floor lamp. We've got the enclosure plugs, the enclosure, the driver, the cord, the LED assembly, the LED mount, the LED wires, the dimmer, the connectors, and the Bluetooth module. Uh, let's start with the LED assembly. So in the center here you have the LED and that's mounted to this heat sink and there's this acrylic cover on top and on the bottom here there's the top of the mount um, and this is the connector that then connects to these wires that go down through the shaft. These snap together. Everything is in the how-to video as far as how all this fits together. And this here is the bottom of the mount. This fixes to the shade uh, and basically you would screw these together. Like I said, it's in the how-to video. This LED here, this is a Bridge Lux Vero 29 LED. It's a little over $20. So, you know, now you can start to see why all the parts together are so expensive. This uh, heat sink is uh, about $15. The acrylic cover and the mount, these are designed and you can order them online uh, using some files, but you know, you can also order it from us or somebody who sells this kit. So overall, this LED assembly, uh, we're selling it for about $50. And next we have, uh, this is the knob. This is a rotary encoder. It, these are connected to this cord. This is uh, this cord itself is a little under ten bucks. Um, you know, it's a specialty cord. I had to get it thin enough to go through the lamp, and um, it has five connectors. Three go to the dimmer, and two go up to the LED. So two connect to this thing here. Then there is the Bluetooth module, which you then snap to the cord and to the LED driver. This is a uh, Blue No Beetle V1. This is an open source uh, Bluetooth module. This itself is $15 and it's so it's mounted uh, to this PCB we had made. Um, and together, all together, this costs uh, $30. Here is the LED driver. This is a bit odd, but it's the only one I could find that goes down to 0.1% of the maximum. The maximum is the least amount that, you know, would take to go over 10,000 lumens, which is kind of the point of this thing. Um, and it's from somebody called U Powertech. This is their latest 80 watt version. And lastly, this is the enclosure. This is a bit odd uh, as well, but uh, I think it's a very good way of doing it. This is a uh, a simple tube that uh, you can buy. This this is actually like seven bucks. It's also not terribly cheap. I mean, but I'm looking into try to find a less expensive option. Um, you know, it's strong, so you know if you stepped on it, it won't break. Then there are these tube caps. Basically, they just snap into this. So you do that on both ends.